Hello my friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about our pantry. Now if you're new here, we recently, actually I just did the math in my head, we've lived in our new home now for five months and I feel like I'm finally ready to get our pantry all set up, organized, and fully stocked as we start, it's back to school next week already. And so I just wanna make sure it's all set up and ready to go for packing all of the school lunches. So I'm actually really glad that we have been living here for a little bit and have just really gotten a good feel for the space and how we plan to use it. Um, as we live here for many, many years to come. So I'm going to give you an initial just walkthrough as to how we've been living with things and then I'll slowly be adding an organization. I say slowly because this video will probably be recorded over the course of a few days. I'm not going to pull everything out and start all over, uh, but I have ordered lots of organization and labels and things like that. So as they arrive, we will add them to the pantry and by the end of this video, you will see it all come together and have it fully stocked with all the things that we need for back to school. Coming off of our kitchen is where our pantry is located. Now, this is a new construction home and I actually did not know, I thought that we were going to have a door installed here, but it is open concept, which has also motivated me to just make sure it looks really nice and organized at all times, but it's also kid friendly. So eventually down the road, we could add a door, but for now it's completely open on this end from the kitchen and it's been going just fine. We do have a pocket door on this side. It's a walkthrough pantry. So you walk in from the garage and you can come in and drop off your groceries pretty much right away. So here's the pocket door, which is kind of nice if we don't want like guests or anything to see our pantry as they walk in through that direction. So we can close that if we want, but I mean, we've pretty much always left it um, open. It is a major traffic area. I find myself walking through here to get to the kitchen when we get home. So anyways, I do have a blank wall here. I think it would be really fun to add uh, some maybe like family wall organization. Maybe it might be a calendar or wall decor. This That is still debatable. The main area I want to focus on today though are all of the open shelving. So it's a really unique shaped room, just the way our house was um, designed. And so that's created a little bit of conflict, but when we designed it, I said, we wanna do some cabinets with the countertop, have a place to do microwave, beverage refrigerator, and then just as much open shelving as possible just to maximize all of our storage. Here's a view coming from the pocket door. You can see into our kitchen. Now, I'm not going to show you what's in the cabinets today, but at the end of the video, I can give you a quick peek into everything so you get the final look of it all. But we have our beverage refrigerator in here. We really liked having that in our other house, and so we went ahead and did that again. Microwave is on the counter, which isn't ideal. However, it did not fit in the microwave shelf that we had, and I didn't want to have to buy a new microwave or anything like that. So it's on the counter for now and will most likely stay there. The kids actually really like it because they can reach it and they're getting to be the older ones anyways are pretty self-sufficient. They can make themselves food in there. So it's at their height and it's working out well. We also have a toaster oven on the shelf that I brought up from our basement bar. We just weren't using it down there and we've been using a ton up here. So not the plan, but that's just how things have worked out. Will it go back downstairs? Maybe someday, but for now we're just working with it. Have our toaster in here, small appliances, produce, uh, cookbooks and random things are in there, but for the most part, the organizing that I'm going to be sharing with you today, in today's video anyways, is going to really be focused on our open shelving. I want to just make it look nice, tidy, organized, and functional. Thank you. 
on my channel i have lots of pantry organizing videos from our old house now i did bring all of those items not all but most of them over to this pantry as well some of them are going to work which a lot of my like pop top oxo uh, bins i'm going to be reusing those for sure the baskets i am going to be switching out just so it all looks very what's the word cohesive that's what we're gonna say i'm going for a cohesive organized <laughs> look so let's go ahead and jump in i did a lot of searching online to find these baskets settled on them from williams and sonoma is that how you say it i don't shop there very often but anyways i love these for lots of reasons one of course they fit perfectly under the shelves so you can't necessarily see what's in them but do you see what my favorite part is they have wheels oh my gosh so my plan for these, I'm going to, I have three of them, is just to line them up through the, out the bottom of the pantry. I'm going to store a lot of my Costco things, paper products probably in this one. So this is napkins. We also have, I think, Kleenex and toilet paper, paper towels. I actually might need to use two of them for that, but that is okay. That's why I got them. going to stick these ones back into the corner. So paper towels, napkins, I have another basket to go right here. I'm going to do toilet paper, extra toilet paper, extra boxes of cleaning. Absolutely love that you cannot see what is inside the bins but there's still enough room to reach in and pull it out I should say too there are handles on these but to fit the way I wanted them to I just like them tucked this way so yeah we do use a stool in here just to get reach up to the top shelves and the kids do as well so this ends up being a good spot for it if I was to add another one of these. Let's just test that out with this one. Actually, I mean, it's okay, but it does stick out a little bit and I would be afraid that, I don't know, it just doesn't look as nice when they're not lined up properly. So I think three is the lucky number on these rolling baskets. And then this will just be our little stool spot. And actually, well, yeah, right here is probably the best spot for it. The next organizers that I ordered are here. These ones came from Amazon. 
I'm so excited for these. Oh, excuse me. Box cutter. Old habit. I'm going to take them out and then I'll show you what they are. So these are countertop cereal dispensers. I was thinking about the kids when I ordered these and just how much easier the mornings will be um, getting their own bowl of cereal going before school. So there are different things you can put in them. I've seen a lot of people use it for pet food. Uh, that one's kind of weird, the dried fruit. The, yeah, you know, it's going to be interesting, but I bought these for cereal. Again, just starting with three. I thought about doing four. Um, so we might eventually go there, but I wanted to start with three and just see how big they are and what they look like. So I'm going to pull these out and get them washed so we can fill them up. Gosh, to have just a walk-in pantry has always been a dream of mine. So each little organizer I add, I'm like, oh, this is so fun. I love it. this girl here. Okay, so they are pretty good size. I like to buy like the bags of cereal. Because we go through a lot with four kids. I'm just going to see what it looks like and then we'll wash it. Okay, so it must lock in. Pretty good size. Okay, I'm going to open these, wash them up, and I don't even think I have enough cereal for this, so I might have to wait to fill them up. Well, we'll see. It is grocery day, so I was able to get a couple of more bags of cereal to fill up these dispensers. And I do have to tell you, the kids were in the background. They're asking, when can we try these out? They were so excited. These have been a huge hit in our house, so it was definitely worth it. And each time we go through the cereal, I'll switch it out with different kinds of their choice. So anyways, if you are new here, I just wanted to say welcome. I am so glad that you are here and joining me for today's video. If you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you join me. I am a super busy mom to four kids as well as a wife, and there's always things happening around here as I share all the projects and decorating here in our new home. Cereal containers fit perfectly in here. I love how these do not stick out as far as the other ones that I was using and the kids just love them already. They're like, they really want to come in here and get a bowl of cereal right now. So what I'm kind of thinking, I might move my produce to a different location and do a fun tiered stand and put some cereal bowls on it and make it all cute. I haven't decided yet, but I'm considering moving this or figuring out a different location for the produce. So that might be happening. Actually, I actually think I will. It just opens up the space a little bit more. I'm also thinking today I'm going to move out the dog treats and the dog food. Let me know where you store your dog treats. Do you store them in your pantry or do you have like a separate drawer in the house? That's what I think I'm going to do is put it in a separate drawer in the kitchen that we have open and available. That way it's just all human food in here. Dog treats are 
moved to a different location. I do like that. What I'm not liking though is that the canned foods, like when I walk into the pantry, the first thing I look at are the canned foods. I don't know, it's just not that pretty to look at. So I think what I'm going to do is just move this entire organizer to this little corner here, see what that looks like. Um, I do have more baskets coming. Unfortunately, they're del delayed, so I will continue this a different day. But until then, I have plenty to work on. I want to move these like more shelf-stable items up high, I think. Yeah, I want to get them up high because we don't need to reach for them every day. And then I do have some new labels to put on some of my other containers. So I have things to work on while I wait for my baskets to arrive. <laughs> The baskets have finally shipped. I think they're supposed to be here either tomorrow or the next day. So unfortunately it's after school starts, but that's okay. We'll survive. In the meantime though, I still do have a few things I'd like to do. The baskets though, they're going to make a world of a difference in here. It's just gonna tie everything together. But anyways, while we're still waiting for those, I'm going to actually switch up the labels on a lot of these uh, food containers just over the past couple of years. First of all, who remembers my whole uh, pantry label fiasco back at the old house? <laughs> I still remember that, oh my gosh. But just over time, we've some have fallen off and uh, we just don't have everything labeled and we don't even have those anymore. So I'm just going to start fresh and just peel these off and put new ones onto a lot of the bins. A lot of my baking goods and dried fruits. We'll do some crackers probably in some bins, but anyways, the labels I ordered are from Amazon. They are pretty inexpensive because you get 180 of them, but I just like how simple they are. I think they'll look really nice next to the woven basket. So I'm going to get started working on this, just taking off some of the old labels and putting the new ones on and we will see what it looks like.
Who else can appreciate an Oreos label? I love it, that's awesome. protein powder one or something like that that was like the main thing I wanted to make sure there was when I ordered this where are you I thought I was going crazy totally forgot a couple labels in the envelopes so now I have to go back and check again just to make sure I use everything there it is sure enough protein powder perfect Labels are coming along, and for the most part, I'm very happy with the names on the stickers. I've pretty much had one for everything, with the exception of these little mini M&Ms, which I know is not like a standard thing. So I just put milk chocolate on it, just so it all looked the same. Um, but just figuring out some final bins. These are all bins that I already had, which is really nice. I have not bought anything. However, I'm kind of left with, I'd like to find three of the same size for snack crackers. So I'm going to try to figure that out to finish off the whole labels. And I'll just save these as we add more items over time, which I'm sure will happen. But it's looking really good. The baskets are here as you could see and I ordered quite a few from the container stores where I ordered them from but I ordered just I wanted to make sure I had extras on hand as we start filling up the pantry so we have all matching ones I'm sure they will continue to make them but I just wanted to make sure to have them ready to go and who knows maybe I will use them all but there's quite a few here so anyways this is going to be the last day of working on the pantry I'm hoping to get it all completed but I'm just going to start pulling some of these older baskets out I'm going to use these in I think the kids bathrooms and we'll bring in the new ones so I ordered there's there's a few sizes the container store sells these are the extra smalls in the mediums and I'm thinking on a couple of the shelves they are going to work out really well so right now I have like chips in a basket bread in a basket like applesauce fruit snacks I think we have granola bars and what else usually I'll put like breakfast items in one so and I was just messing around with this one this is the extra small to see if it fits and as you can see it fits on these shelves just about perfectly so Let's get started and see what it all looks like.
all of the containers and baskets are in the pantry. Now I just need to take some time and shuffle things around to get it, um, I don't know, looking a little bit better and not empty in certain spaces. I'm trying to break up the baskets as much as I can just because I don't want to be too baskety. There's my new word for the video. <laughs> So I'm just going to take some time on my own to shuffle some things around. I actually might take out my tiered tray that I don't use for like food. That's more for decor and, and move some things around on the top as well. I don't even know if I want to keep my tiered stands or trays in here, but it is a good spot to get it out of the way. So yeah, I'll just work on my own and then I will share with you what everything looks like once I get it all figured out. Oh my goodness, what an adventure organizing a pantry is. I think I've spent like all of my free time over the past few weeks thinking about this room right here. So whether it was measuring or trying to find the exact bins and size you need is an adventure in itself. But besides that, measuring and ordering and finding the right bins, then you need to get in there and actually clean and organize and get it to all come together. But I feel like I'm at a good point where we just need to use it as a family, see how it works for us, and I can make adjustments as well. There are some empty spots, which at first I was like, Ugh. I kind of want it to be like, you know, a full pantry, but at the same time, it is nice to have that extra space that we can grow into, especially as I'm planning to probably make a Costco run here in the next couple of weeks. Quite the difference from the before. Now I do have to say the big highlight for the kids for this whole little makeover has to be the cereal dispensers. I was on the fence about adding them in here. Didn't really think that it was necessary but they love them. I actually put a little stack of bowls here as well just because our bowls are up high in the kitchen and this is much easier to grab from. They hold a lot of cereal, which is so nice. Our old ones held um, very little. It felt like I was always filling them up. So yes, definitely worth the investment. Still not sure if we'll do four, but they are so, so nice. You just push down the lever and then it dispenses out a little bit at a time. So they don't overfill their bowls, which is so, so nice. So I kind of made this our little breakfast station. I also put like oatmeal and things down below that my husband and I would grab for right here. A couple other baskets, like my food, like certain, you know, as I've been on my little weight loss journey, I buy a few things for myself here and there that the, really the kids won't want. So I made myself a little hidden basket down here. Now this basket is more for like kids food items that don't need to go in the refrigerator or freezer that they can make on their own. So right now I only have one thing in here, but over time we will add more items. So just some easy max for now. And then back here, I think this will just be my Costco box area. I might, I don't know, I don't really think I wanna do any more baskets, but I did bring these clear acrylic bins out. These are the home edit from Walmart ones. They are the, I think they're the large size. And so I just put them here to fill a space for now, but we can definitely put things in there and it breaks up all of my baskets, so. Just have those empty, ready to be filled. So I could get a couple of more of those if I wanted to, but for now it's just open space. I did move my can organizer back. I decided I liked it over here a little bit better. I'm just used to having it there for now. The next row, this is like the snack section. I wanted it to be at a level where the kids could easily see in the baskets and also grab items as needed most of them anyways, but we have like chips, cookies and crackers and mini muffins. We typically don't have this much food on hand, but with school starting, I wanted to just uh, go all out and make sure we were fully stocked here. I did more like morning snacks, granola bars, applesauces. These are like fruit snacks and all of our bread items are in this for their basket. So the one that I know the kids won't reach for is tucked back into the corner. I did some of our everyday pretzels and crackers that I use for packing lunches in these bins. I can actually link these ones down below. These might be my new favorite size for the pop tops. I just, they're perfect. So 
yeah those are from amazon those were the only bins i think i added new otherwise all these pop top bins came from our old house so i'm super happy that we were able to reuse those because these are an investment the upper shelves have just always been our baking area where I store all of our flowers and sugars and things like that. I decided to just keep them here. I'm just so used to having them and I like them. Uh, so I did a lot of the smaller containers up top. They could absolutely all fit on one, but we just have the space right now that I decided to give them each their own little zone here. Um, random things that we use just to put them in a basket so they look organized like boxed things that Macy can bake, uh, taco kits. Uh, this one is actually going to be like drink mixes. I have syrup in there for now, but we'll probably fill that with just, with just random drink mixes that the kids like to put in their water bottles for sports and things like that. Uh, like mac and cheese. These are more of those home edit bins that I had. Mac and cheese in one and like this is microwave popcorn. And then I hid pudding back there because we don't always need to have a thing of pudding. Now this area is a lot of like the um, everyday dry goods that you like to have in your pantry. I do want to add to this because I know there are more things, but this is just what we have for now. So like your pastas and your dried fruits and granola, nuts, a pantry essential, Oreos. I did protein powder. I'm thinking about moving to a different area. And then graham crackers, I put those up here because I don't want the kids to eat them all. We need them on hand for s'more nights. So that's that bin, or that row. Up above, there's like peanuts in a basket and sunflower seeds, candy. I put candy up high. This one is just kind of a random one right now. There's a bag of nuts in there for now. I kind of hid some candy back there. So it's not like I don't have a basket for everything, but again, I don't want it to be too baskety. And then these are a lot of just extras and overflows when we run out of items from the refrigerator. We can just grab the next one from here. The top shelf, I left empty this little corner to grow. Put my tiered stands or these can also be like serving stands in the corner. And then I had these baskets from our other house in our pantry. This one has all of our s'mores items. So there's the marshmallows and Hershey bars and the sticks you use. So we can just grab the basket down and go out to the fire pit. And then this one is empty. But I think I mentioned this earlier. I'm just so happy to have a walk-in pantry. We've never had one before. So to have all this space is just wonderful. The cabinets really didn't change. I did not spend any time on organizing those. I could put small appliances on this shelf if I really wanted to or crock pots up above. But for now, I just decided to put them in the cabinet. So all of our small appliances, it's mostly like, I don't know, blender crock pots are in the cabinets. So those could easily come out, but we just have the space in the cabinet. So I decided to hide them away all of our plastic baggies and things like that in this drawer. This one is like chip clips and straws and random stuff. This is a almost like a pantry junk drawer. That. Have my little fruit bowl on the counter. Yeah, this one. This is not organized, but here's what it looks like inside. Extra bags of the cereal that didn't fit into there. I just shoved in here for now so cookbooks were originally supposed to go here but this cabinet ended up being too small for all my cookbooks so that was a big bummer it feels so good though to just have a space where we are now finally settled for the past year I've been decluttering and minimizing as we were putting our house on the market and then we moved to the cabin and we did bring a lot of things there. So to just be settled now in our home with a walk-in pantry that I can actually start filling up with food is just, it's, it's amazing. And I just feel so thankful and I say this all the time, but it just doesn't seem real. But anyways, just wanna say thank you so much for joining me for today's video. The kids are actually back in school as of today. I packed my first 
lunches out of the pantry went really well. So we're off to a really good start, but that also means I have lots of videos coming up that I cannot wait to share with you. So definitely make sure you're subscribed. Stick around, I would love to have you. Thumbs up as always if you enjoyed it. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.